What is going on? Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Don't have a whole lot of time today, but we certainly have enough time for some fishing. So let me just show you right here what we're looking for today. Excuse the spider webs. Rock bass, all right? Bluegill, maybe crappie if we can find them. Not perch. Walleye, that's like impossible. Pike, yes sir. No. And then yes and yes, largemouth and smallmouth. So essentially whoever set this up was uh, very thoughtful in getting this ready for my video because I definitely needed that to uh, explain very clearly what we're going for today. But that's pretty much the idea. We're gonna go fish around for like the hour and a half that we have and see what we can catch. And uh, yeah, it should be fun, should be a good time. So stick around and we're gonna get to fishing. All right. Right in this. Nothing I like more than throwing treble hook baits on big chunks of rock in moving water. little too high up for this rapala to be used optimally but we're gonna try I'm seeing tons of smallmouth already okay the rapala might not be working very well right now we'll just try it somewhere else we'll come back here trying these weird pools they have here Oh my gosh. Absolute dink. This tiny thing. Oh, aggressive though. Beautiful little smallmouth right there. Absolutely clobbered that thing. Get in there. day to have a camera strapped to your chest if every two seconds someone's coming by with a weed whacker or a lawnmower. I'm just breathing in straight grass clippings right now. No wonder nobody's here. Oh my goodness. Like a three inch smallmouth. Doing everything he can to fit this thing into his mouth. Oh my goodness. I think it's so hard, dude. Hey, that's a school of smallmouth right there. I feel like this would be a good place for a fly rod. It's so open. It's a good place for a novice fly angler like myself. All right, much better smallmouth. Well, a little better better enough to feel the difference on the on the hit poking them on the outside of the mouth that means they're hitting it hard if the fish are getting hooked on the outside of the lip that means they're coming and swiping at it really aggressively and they're not actually engulfing it All right, we're kind of back where we started. Kind of got kicked out of the place we were just fishing because I turned my head and there was like 
an entire public school worth of kids on kayaks coming down the river. So that wasn't gonna happen. So we're back here. Now uh, I just decided to put on a little finesse jig with a craw on it, a little TRD craw. I could have just done a small swim bait and called it a day because that's a high confidence bait for me, but I feel like a little finesse jig might be able to elicit a larger bite out of the horde of smallmouth that I keep seeing in here. So we'll see. Not a bad rock bass. Pretty chunky one, he's been eating well. He's got the sweet black on the fins. Cool as heck. All right, buddy. Back in you go. Rock bass. A little small mouth and rock bass. Never a bad thing. Hoping we get on some sort of a size upgrade as far as small mouth goes soon, but I can't complain with the action we're getting on. It's not bad for only having like an hour and a half. And I'll tell you what, I picked the wrong day to not wear a belt. I got my American flag undies on and every three steps it's flying at half mast. There's got to be something in here. Oh my gosh, as soon as it hit, dude. That's a better fish right there. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, he just threw it. Good largemouth, man. Came right out from underneath the weeds. Too bad we couldn't keep him pinned. That was just such a good eat, dude. Dang. Now this is a Robert Plant song right here. Huh? Huh? All right. There's gotta be something around here, even though it's incredibly stagnant and nasty. What do you know? What do you know? Rock bass. These things have not been hard to come by today, but they're giving us some action on the other fish. Whoa. Right by that buoy. It's a danger buoy because I'm the danger. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? I'm the one who slays. All right, 
nice little beautiful largey to start this amazing afternoon off with. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. I'm out here with my good buddy Justin and we're fishing for pretty much whatever. Uh, I don't have my ultralight rod, unlike my buddy Justin, so I'm mainly targeting largemouth, smallmouth, and pike. Hopefully I don't get surprised by a pike and get completely bitten off. We're just out here to have some fun, so I'm not really too worried about it. So uh, stick around and please enjoy us catch some fish. Let's go, Justin. What is that? Bluegill holding its ground? Oh. Okay, My apologies. That's the reason it's holding its ground is because it's a pumpkin seed and not a bluegill. Fair enough. It was holding its ground. I was holding his weed. I would be too if the feds were messing with me. Gosh darn it, that's not going to work. That is an insanely pretty pumpkin seed, dude. Let's just check this out. Look at that bad boy. Dude, beautiful catch, my guy. That's what we're out here for. Yeah. That's what I'm out here for. We're just out here for a good old-fashioned biological survey of the aquatic life. Actually, though, that's like kind of my Oh my gosh. This is supposed to happen. Nice little rock bass for the second fish of the afternoon. Not complaining, but these guys always do manage to figure out a way to get whatever you're throwing in their mouth. That is fun. Yeah, I was casting at those ones. Yeah, you throw something really small in front of those lethargic fish and sometimes they're just like, might as well. <laughs> Your shadow There's no way that my thing. Picture. Your shadow is in my picture. I cannot believe this right now. Ruining my picture. How rude. <laughs> this is my style of fishing right Dude, here. Dude, wait till you see the colors on this thing. That thing looks tropical. Whoa. Dude, Dude, he's got like the cobalt blue on it. Obviously, I know you're not intent on using this rod tonight, but if you want, um, the offer is there. I'll take the rod right now. If you want, absolutely. Mid-cast. Yeah, sure. Can I use yours? Of course you can. All right. So I do have an ultralight rod. Eat it. Oh my gosh. Beautiful pumpkin seed. Well, that'll work for three species. Oh my gosh, absolutely awesome colors. Not quite as bright as the one Justin hooked earlier, but man, oh man. That is a pretty fish. Oh my goodness, yes. Pumpkin seed. Probably one of the best fighting panfish, honestly. Seriously. And this guy's a little beat up. Looks like he might've gotten swiped at by a pike or something on that one side. But other than this guy almost getting completely eaten I mean that's just a super pretty fish like the cobalt blue and stuff like that man awesome stuff all right bud all right made a move just below this dam we're gonna see how this goes should go decently well pretty shallow right where we're standing but if we can get over to that side we should be in for some fish. 
See you later, shoes. That was kind of underwhelming for a dam. We caught fish, can't complain. Not big at all, but a little large mouth. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, get the net, get the net. But I think we're gonna be best off moving on and looking for some other spots on the main lake where the fish are up shallow. So I'll get back to you guys when we get over. We made a move, but there is a crap ton of weeds and algae around here. So the swim bait we were throwing ain't gonna cut it. And I certainly can't throw top water unless I had a frog or toad style lure. So put on a little salty super fluke because I think we'll be able to drag this and twitch it across the mats as well as, you know, let it sink in any holes that we find in the weeds. We might be able to get a bite. Okay, this ain't working. All right, we've moved around quite a bit. To be honest with you, most of the spots have not been incredibly productive, but we've been having a good time. We're at the last spot we're gonna be at for the night before we head out. And, uh, you know, I fished here before. There's generally fish here. So I'm hoping we can get on them. Only thing is I've never been here this time of year, so there's a lot more algae and plants around than there normally is. So hopefully that doesn't impede our top water fishing too much because that is what I want to try to end off the day with. Justin was just reeling in a little bluegill and it got absolutely clobbered by a pike. So I feel like good old fashioned spook might be the money maker if we steer clear of stuff like this. So the one thing with a spook is you cannot, you cannot work it if there's any ounce of weeds on it. It's just not gonna work. Bro, stop being facetious like that. You just got grabbed. I know. I was <laughs> trying to be facetious. That happened literally. You literally, you, I literally just saw the bright white chatterbait just go whoosh off to the side. Because something picked it up. No. And then I was like, had to stop talking and eat my words. Bro, we're going to cast in the middle of the channel. Might need to change the channel because this one sucks. And then you get bit. Just played with it. A little tickle. You gotta go in there. Come back when you give it a second. That makes me mad. Oh my goodness! It tanked you? Something came up in eight. You got it? Yeah. Bass. Largey. Big one? Not a small one, but not a big one. This is a good, healthy fish that you can't go wrong with. There we go. Not a bad largey at all. Thanks for playing, bucko. Oh, shoot. We gave him like the clip on tie with the freaking treble hook. So it sucks about treble hooks, so. 
They don't play very nicely with fish sometimes. Luckily though, you just be gentle and patient and you can get it out, no problem. All right. All right, pal. Time for you to go. I hope that pike comes out and just freaking clobbers that thing. Dude, I just wanted to clobber one of our baits. It's gonna clobber the chatterbait if he's hanging out on that wall, well, waiting saying, for bluegill. Well, I'm saying, but he won't. And we know he's there waiting for bluegill. What else is there to wait for? The bus? Yeah, you let that sink. Oh yeah. Yes, that was completely... you, oh my gosh, let's go. Bass, good one. What's up, bass? Good one, dude. Bro, I don't know what he's wrapped on. But I can't get him out. Shouldn't go in for him. Dude, what the heck is he on? Crack. It's like some other fisherman's line or something. He's only like three pounds, bro. Yeah, but I mean, dude, my day like today, the fishing's been rough. A little rough. You'll take it. Yes, sir. Just make sure he kicks off good. It's my best bass of the year. Whenever you're ready. Oh, there we go. He got duped. Bamboozled. All right, due to decreasing light and increasing mosquitoes, we're gonna have to call it, wrap it up. Not the most uh, insane fishing ever. It's actually really tough today. I'm very happy that we were both able to catch slightly larger bass, uh, especially throwing the things that, oh my gosh, what'd you just hook? Anyways, it was nice. You know, being able to catch something of a larger caliber in between weeding out a bunch of little ones and grinding away today. And you know, it was nice exploring a spot that's familiar to us, but during a time that we've never really fished it. And you know, getting, getting a lay of the land and whatnot. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, till the next time, peace out. Pike is gonna follow both of our baits in eventually see our pasty white legs in the water and just be like, oh heck nah, and swim I 50 miles an hour in the opposite direction. Bro, if I lost a bitch, this is the color of my skin. Thank God you were in the 